President Joe Biden kicked off his 2024 campaign this afternoon, zeroing in on what he says is the threat to democracy posed by likely opponent Donald Trump. The former president says the same thing about Biden. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen? Tracy, with nearly a full year to go before voters head to the polls, and while the matchup is not solidified just yet, it's looking more and more like a 2020 rematch. And today, near Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, at Montgomery County Community College, President Biden invoking George Washington, asking a crowd of supporters at his speech, is democracy still America's sacred cause? Not far from where the Continental Army, led by George Washington, encamped during the winter over two centuries ago, President Joe Biden goes after Donald Trump. Trump's not concerned about your future, I promise you. Trump is now promising a full-scale campaign of revenge and retribution, his words. The speech, not by coincidence, coming just one day before the January 6th Capitol right anniversary. I'm trying to rewrite the facts of January 6th, Trump is trying to steal history the same way he tried to steal the election. And to drill home his message, this ad. I've made the preservation of American democracy the central issue of my presidency. I believe in free and fair elections and the right to vote fairly and have your vote counted. But just today, Make America Great Again warns, since taking office, Joe Biden has taken actions that threaten our democracy and the American way of life. Biden has abused his power to target critics, activists, concerned parents, and his main political opponent, President Donald Trump. And the former president also out with a new ad ripping Biden over the economy. Everywhere you look, Trump beats Biden on the economy. Take home pay, up six grand under Trump. Under Biden, down $7,000. While Trump leads in the polls, it's not a done deal yet that he's the nominee. GOP candidate Nikki Haley is trying to beat Trump. I agree with a lot of his policies. But the reality is, rightly or wrongly, chaos follows him. And presidential candidate Ron DeSantis thinks voters should move past Trump and recognize Biden's failures. The Democrats want Trump to be the candidate. They are going to talk about all the legal stuff. January 6th, that will be what the election will be about. Also tonight, the Biden campaign says it will be out in full force on January 22nd, marking the Roe v. Wade anniversary that comes just days after the annual March for Life event celebrating the unborn is held. No doubt the Biden administration will be keeping abortion front and center up until Election Day in an attempt to hold on to power. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.